Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about uh, whether a guy is a player or not. Um, so is he a player? And um, if you're having tr trouble figuring out whether guys are players, you keep falling in love with players or you know whatever the situation is, here's how to figure out where, whether he's a player um, first off. So uh, first, there's two different types of players out there. Right, and you, you need to know um, which one is which. So the first one is guys who are open and honest about being players, right? And this is uh, a lot of times women will get into trouble with this one because they will um, they will ignore all the signs and signals. They'll ignore the fact that he's like, oh, I just want something casual, and she'll be like, Oh yeah, I do too, you know, secretly thinking in her mind, I'm gonna win him over, and you know. Um, which rarely happens. It happens once in a while, but it's rare. Um, and the second is guys who try to hide it, right? And um, most guys are really bad at hiding things. Um, you know, if if he acts weird about talking about things like relationships or marriage or kids, you know, a lot of women are like, guys don't like talking about kids and marriage and relationships the truth is is that guys that are interested in marriage and kids and relationships they don't care they will talk about that stuff and it's okay for them guys who are not interested in marriage and kids and relationships those are the guys that are weird when you talk to them about those things and so if a guy's acting weird that's a huge red flag that he's hiding something um so it's something that you want to know. And so just to let you know, most men aren't players. Most men are not players. It takes, you know, the reality is, is that if you're not naturally a player as a guy, which most men aren't, it takes a lot of time to figure out how to be a player. And, and so a lot of women think that guys, like all guys are players, and it's just far, far from true. Um, and the next thing is, is you like if you meet one of these players, make sure that you um, don't fall in love with his potential, right? So a lot of women, they fall in love with who he could be, not who he is. You need to take a, a good look at a guy and say, you know, if nothing changes about this guy, could I love him um, forever just the way that he is? And if the answer is no to that, then you need to not be with that guy, you know? Go find somebody else. Guys don't want you to change him and... Uh, you know that trying to change a guy or thinking that you're going to change or thinking that you're going to fall in love with him and and be with him who he will be that's just a bad bad situation um and last thing i want to say is don't ignore your intuition right you uh women are blessed with the ability to have a better intuition than guys do and uh listen to it you know your intuition um can be a really powerful resource for you that will tell you whether a guy is a player or not. And so so listen to that intuition and um, you know be mindful of it. So that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract Mr. Right into a committed, secure, loving relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz there. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.